Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to create an async middleware. First of all, why we need an async middleware? That you ask. Here we have a try cache and we have try cache blocking here, here, and here everywhere. Also, we respond to errors in the same way. So this is repeating. That means we broke the dry principle. Dry means don't repeat yourself. To solve that, I'm gonna create an async middleware. I'm gonna create it as a function. Okay, I'm gonna add a try catch block here. Okay, I'm gonna add this error here. All right, now how do we add this code into here? We cannot create code blocks, right? Okay, so what should we do in this situation? Let's remove this try catch block and pass this function as a callback. If you haven't seen my callback video, please watch it. It's just two minutes, so you can understand it. Now let's pass this function into a sig middleware as a parameter. Okay. Does this solve the problem? Unfortunately, answer is no. Look here. Route.get requires a callback function but got an object undefined. Why is that? Before I tell you the answer, please subscribe to my channel because 80% of you haven't subscribed it. I wanna give you free and high quality content as much as possible. Thank you for everyone who already subscribed. The answer is we are calling this async middleware here but this async middleware doesn't return anything so after we call this one this returns undefined so this variable value equals to undefined so we have to return a function here let's make it async otherwise i cannot catch the error now you can see the format is correct right we don't have errors here but we will get one when we send a request like this okay the reason is this res dot is status 500 res is not defined that means we don't get this request response and next to this function so we have to get that okay now still it doesn't work because when we work in with this function we need these two variables right so that means we have to pass these three to here okay now it should work. let's try yeah it works also let's test this middle with an error so new error let's call it help and send it you can see i get help. all right by default it gives 500 errors what happened if i want to get 400 errors let's add it here all right let's test the app it gives 500 like before the problem is i have added this status code manually we have to get that from rest dot status code okay if there isn't any status code i have to pass 500 that's good right let's check that look now i get error for pro and the message good so i want to show you a problem that i have found i don't know whether you guys have this one so i only have an error here let me run the code it gives 200 okay i don't know why it gives 200 and an error it should be 400 by default so if there isn't any code that means i have to pass 500 right so it's still that part doesn't work so to fix that one i'm gonna add something like this if rest of status code less than 400 then i'm gonna on the status code 400 if not i'm gonna add rest dot status code okay so yeah this should work look now i get the bad request one let's remove this part and try the app whether it works in normal method app is working perfectly so that change doesn't do anything harmful all right let's remove these try catch blocks in other parts also all right look we can actually uh, reduce some code let's remove this rest of the status part and throw new errors like this i'm gonna remove this one and throw a new error also i'm gonna do the same thing in add use all right let's test one of these errors so i'm gonna go to user and body i'm gonna remove this one and change the method to post and send it look name is required bad request okay now you can see how clean our code is let's add this middleware into a new file i have created the folder called middleware i'm gonna create a file called async middleware in that one i'm gonna add module dot exports this okay so now i'm gonna import that done this is not the last part of the error handling there's another step i'm gonna teach you how to create an error middleware in the next video after i created that one i will be able to reduce this code into one line actually so make sure you like and subscribe and have a nice day